Revelation chapter 22. And behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me. I give to everyone according to his work. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are those who do his commandments. We so often look at people and say, Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming. Oh, look at the signs. Look at all the stuff going on in the world. Folks, it's been happening for centuries. And I'm sure that the apostles felt just like I did when I first started preaching. I told all the people in my first church that my girls would not see adulthood until Jesus came. I now have grandchildren which I am so grateful for. But I want you to listen to that scripture again. Behold, I come quickly. You know, the Bible's real plain. It teaches us clearly that with the Lord, a day is as a thousand years, and a thousand years can be as a day. I often wondered why Jesus took his time coming back or why God didn't plan it better to fit my, my needs. Do you know what I've discovered? I've discovered that he tarries because there are other people who need to know the Lord. And he judges us, all of us, according to our work. It's plural. We're not saved by them, but we're judged by them. We're not saved by them because we're saved by the blood of Jesus. I want you to understand. The Bible teaches us plainly that some men's sins go before them and some men's sins come after them. Here's the part nobody likes to remember. But every man's sin finds him out. That's why it's important for us to love the way Jesus loved to have compassion the way God has. In my sermon Sunday, I said something that really has stuck with me a long, long time. That encouragement, compassion, mercy is something that's felt in the heart. But not your heart. God's heart. For you. So we can sit around and look at all the things going on and say, okay, Lord, come quickly. And we can look at our depression and our problems that we have every day and say, come on, Lord, what are you waiting on? Or we can be like God would be and have compassion and mercy. For you see, it's in God's heart that he had compassion for us, that he sent Jesus just for you. Father, take this word, this word for a Wednesday, and God in the middle of the week, encourage us to have compassion and mercy upon those who need it most. In Jesus' name, amen.